asked. Well, not a very nice weather day around here. We can all probably agree on that, but there were some very nice weather scenes. Let me show you this picture here. This is from Laura Atkinson. This is of Satuous Point in Middletown, Rhode Island. And Laura saw what a lot of us saw today with a mixed bag. She saw rain, then she saw snow, then some ice, and then she was left with this, a nice rainbow down there in Middletown. In terms of snowfall, not a lot in the bucket today. Burrville about an inch and a half. North Foster one inch, Cumberland an inch, and in North Providence about 0.5 inches. Other spots getting a coating, but really it was more of a curiosity factor with the big flakes falling rather than actually accumulating on the roads. The next 24 hours are interesting. We will see the chance of some rain and snow showers lingering tonight, and a few slick spots are possible, especially north and west of Providence into early tomorrow morning, so be mindful of that. Tomorrow morning, temperatures upper 20s to low 30s. It will start to get breezy with winds out of the southwest at around 10 to 15 miles an hour. Then into tomorrow afternoon, a straight flurry is possible. Most of the day is snow free, temperatures upper 30s, and winds will also get going a little bit stronger out of the southwest at 10 to 20 miles an hour, making a chilly feel in the air. Temperatures by location tomorrow, not a big difference. We go into 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You can see mid-30s in Smithfield, mid-30s to upper 30s at the south coast. And with the wind, it will feel colder. I will talk about those wind chills in detail coming up in just a minute. Now, on live pinpoint Doppler 12, not showing much in terms of precipitation. There still could be a few bands of leftover snow here over the next several hours, but the trend will be to get rid of the precipitation. Still some leftover raindrops or perhaps some melted snowflakes here on the camera lens showing up on a city cam. Temperature is 35. Winds are out of the west at 5 miles an hour. And actually, it would be a good thing to keep these winds going a little bit overnight. When the winds die down and you get pockets of clear skies, that's when those temperatures can really start to plunge. And that's when we do worry about that patchy black ice. But it looks like a decent amount of cloud cover and winds stay going a little bit overnight, eliminating a widespread black ice event, although some patches will be out there in those untreated surfaces, sidewalks. You know, be careful on the walk to the car on the sidewalk tomorrow. All right, look at this little lobe of snow that pushes away a little action here in Connecticut. But again, for the most part, this pushes away. Another little system will clip us, bringing that chance of snow. But the bigger effect, I think, will be the wind. I mentioned the wind chill, and because the winds will start to increase a little bit throughout the day as the temperatures start to increase, the net effect will be that the feel like temperatures kind of flatline. About 26, 8 o'clock in the morning for a wind chill, 27 by around noontime. So, not a big change in the wind chills throughout the day. So, definitely uh, bundle up, bring the hat and gloves and the jackets as you're out and about tomorrow. All right, a much different story for the AFC Championship game in Denver. Upper 50s at kickoff, 3 p.m., sunny skies, very light wind. So, Weather, not much of a factor in tomorrow's game. Back to our local weather. You can see Monday for Martin Luther King Day. It's a decent start, partly sunny, highs in the upper 30s. And then Monday night, a cold front will pull in much colder air. Look at that, Kelly. Temperatures in the teens at times, Wednesday, Thursday afternoon. Low temperatures in the single digits. Also, a few chances of snow in there, but I think the bigger story will be the cold weather into the next week. The cold weather returns. Yes, it does. All right, Pete. Thanks so much for coming up on Eyewitness News at 10. We'll go back to Denver for a 